Hey guys, Dr. Jocelyn here from the Wellness Way Centennial coming to you live between patients again today um, to talk about something that I am seeing a lot in testing. So EBV, if you guys are not aware, stands for Epstein-Barr virus. So I've run several different viral panels that have all come back positive for this in the last few weeks with patients that are just struggling to get up over that hump, so to speak, like they're doing everything right, they are following all the good things that they know how to follow, but they're still struggling with certain symptoms. So I wanted to bring it to your guys' attention because this is something that you or someone you know, um, and I'm gonna talk on this subject more and more um, because I think it's a really common issue that a lot of people out there may be dealing with. Um, so in case you don't know, Epstein-Barr virus um, is a very common virus. So this is typically something that you are exposed to as a child. Um, it commonly occurs in, in conjunction with mono. Um, so if you've ever had mono, you, you most likely have Epstein-Barr uh, being the root cause of that. It does also commonly occur with repeated strep infections. So even though that is a bacterial thing, the viral component is there with it. So what can happen is, if you are not aware, viruses don't leave your body. So viruses are with you for life. If you think back to if you had chicken pox as a kiddo, um, it hangs out in your, you know, typically your spine, in your um, central nervous system. Um, or a peripheral nervous system, and then it can reactivate later in life, causing what's called shingles. So Epstein-Barr is actually no different. Um, Epstein-Barr can reactivate, and the symptoms are tough. Like, it can look like a lot of other issues. So common reactivation symptoms are flu-like symptoms. Who has seen that happen to them here, especially recently, within the last year or so? Anxiety, depression, brain fog, sleep issues, also to the point of insomnia, um, hormone problems, so whether you can't hold your hormones or you're constantly low or unbalanced, so again, it could look a lot of different ways when it comes to the hormone piece, digestive issues. So again, you know, maybe you've had food allergies tested, you are sticking to all the good things, um, but you're still having digestive issues. So maybe tons and tons of bloating, um, diarrhea, constipation. Again, it can look a lot of ways when it comes to digestive issues. Um, nerve pain. So all over, it could be sharp and shooting. It could be just in a specific area. Um, vagal nerve issues. So again, the vagus nerve is what calms our system down. So we really want that to be active in the body at the right times of day. Um, hepatomegaly, so again, that means enlarging the liver. So again, an enlarged liver, liver issues, you may see liver enzymes go off. Um, and you know, you know, you again are doing everything right. Um, and just overall like energy sensitivities. So whether that's TMFs uh, to 5G, if that's, you know, that's kind of new in the Denver metro area. So I have a couple different patients telling me they're really struggling with that um, as they get exposed to those things for maybe the first time or versus them at work, having that work exposure when they're in their office building. But then when they go home, they don't have that when they go home. Um, so basically, if you are, are working on your health, um, especially with like a wellness weight off like myself, and you are constantly seeing some of these symptoms rear their heads and worsen, it's definitely time to consider that Epstein-Barr could have had the opportunity to reactivate in your body. And there's two things that it loves to feed on. Adrenal stress and hormones. And so just think about the last, you know, 18 months or so, a lot of people have been under a lot of stress, um, a lot of life changes, whether it was their decisions or not. 
Um, and a lot of our hormones are off because of that stress already. So that cortisol is our stress hormone, which automatically has issues with our, our hormones going down and being balanced. Um, so I definitely have seen this a lot in the testing that I have done lately, which is why I'm bringing it up. Because if you are doing all the right things and you're like, man, is this in my head? Am I crazy? Like, what, what is going on? I still feel all these things, and I know I'm taking care of myself. I know I'm following my food allergies. I've done a detox. I'm, I'm clean. I'm, I'm sleeping properly. You're doing all the good things. You're checking all the boxes. Um, it's not in your head. It's a simple viral panel that any Wellness Way doctor can run. There's multiple viral issues, but this is probably the most common one. And we have specific things within our viral panel to look at. Is it a new infection? Is it a reinfection? Um, and what kind of stage is it in? So we test all those things very specifically. And those are all answers that can be given with a simple viral panel uh, blood test through the wellness way. And let me tell you, then from there, we go to work. Because once a virus like Epstein-Barr has had a chance to reactivate, um, it is within your cells and it can hide from your immune system. So then the key is helping get it back out to a place in the body where your immune system can go after it and can attack it. Um, and, and remember, these symptoms can come and go. So it could, you could have a good day and then five bad days. Um, and maybe um, rash as well. So rash is an extremely common outside symptom. And it could be anywhere. It could be on your face. It could be on um, your hand, your arm. I've had patients have rashes all over when that reactivation occurs. So again, that's just one outside symptom that's pretty visual. Um, that patients are able to look at and notice. Um, and again, it could flare, it could look worse some days than others. So I will continue to talk about this. I, like I said, Epstein-Barr, I wanted to start to bring it to your attention. I've been seeing it in the testing that I've done. A lot of those symptoms that I talk about are things that I see multiples of those things affecting a lot, a lot of the patients that walk through our door here. Um, and this could be, again, just one trigger that could be important for, for you to look at with your health. So hope that helps you guys. Hope that's some great info. And we will chat soon. Happy Tuesday.